Greetings this Monday morning. It's March 28th. We gather for devotional prayer in the season of Lent. We're following a, uh, a work by Henry Nouwen called Renewed for Life. My name is Ken Pepin. I'm the rector here at St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Fairport, New York. We're delighted to be with you today. So let us begin. Our God is full of compassion and mercy. Oh, come, let us worship. O oh God, let our mouths proclaim your praise and your glory all the day long. Praise to the holy and undivided Trinity, one God, as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Our psalm chosen for today is a portion of Psalm 89. Beginning at the first verse. Your love, O Lord, forever will I sing. From age to age, my mouth will proclaim your faithfulness. For I am persuaded that your love is established forever, and you have set your faithfulness firmly in the heavens. I have made a covenant with my chosen one. I have sworn an oath to David, my servant. I will establish your line forever and preserve your throne for all generations. The heavens bear witness to your wonders, O Lord, and to your faithfulness as the assembly of the holy ones. For who in the skies can be compared to the Lord? Who is like the Lord among the gods? God is much to be feared in the counsel of the holy ones. Great and terrible are all those around about him. Who is like you, Lord God of hosts? O mighty Lord, your faithfulness is all around you. You rule the raging of the sea and still the surging of its waves. You have crushed Rahab of the deep with a deadly wound. You have scattered your enemies with your mighty arm. Yours are the heavens, the earth also is yours. You laid the foundations of the world and all that is in it. You have made the north and the south. Tabor and Hermon rejoice in your name. You have a mighty arm. Strong is your hand and high is your right hand. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of your throne. Love and truth go before your face. Happy are the people who know the festal shout. They walk, O Lord, in the light of your presence. They rejoice daily in your name. They are jubilant in your righteousness. For you are the glory of their strength. And by your favor our might is exalted. Truly the Lord is our ruler. The Holy One of Israel is our King. On this fourth week of Lent, the first Monday, my reflection is, Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me, O Lord, be my helper. Psalm 30, verse 10. It's entitled, Waiting for the Hidden God. We long for intimacy with God, but the intimacy with God in our earthly existence will always remain an intimacy that transcends human intimacy and is experienced in a faithful waiting on him who came but is still to come. Although at exceptional moments, we may be overwhelmed by a deep sense of God's presence in the center of our solitude and in the midst of the space we create for others. More often than not, we are left with a painful sense of emptiness and can only experience God as the absent God. Lord, may I learn to praise you at all times, not just when you seem close to me. Henry Nouwen points out probably a, a pretty common truth, I think, um, whenever we seek God out in our life, um, not so often is it that we experience that fullness and that, that presence that is automatic, but rather um, it involves a waiting, it involves a listening, it involves us clearing our thoughts and minds of meditating and opening ourselves to that presence. Um, so there's a, 
there's a certain, um, how would you say, posture that one takes in prayer um, in opening oneself to God's grace. Um, the psalm today re reminded me of uh, uh, some years ago now, <laughs> uh, way back in my youth, I had gone to one of these charismatic renewal um, um, movement kind of uh, gatherings um, in a big convention center, which fit seated, you know, three or four thousand people, and um, the place was jam packed full of people, and uh, it was just an amazing sense, you know, <laughs> you, it would be hard not to you know, feel God's presence with all those people, you know, praying together. It was just an amazing sense of that. But that's like, as we, as Henry now and reminds us, that's those moments are moments and it's not always that fervent um, that we feel that sense of God's presence. But at times we feel absent. We feel and wonder, is, is God really there? So to realize that we're not alone in that is, I think, is probably one of the big, uh, big lessons for today is to, to trust in God's faithfulness, even when we don't feel it. Um, so, so often, many, much of our reality is all based on, you know, whether I feel connected, whether I feel like I'm a part of something, um, but that God transcends all of that, that our feelings don't determine God's presence, but God is present even in the absence, even in the silence, even in the quiet. So let us take a moment uh, today to reflect on that, that place. We pray for one another. We pray for those, especially who are feeling lost, who are feeling alone, who are feeling abandoned, even by their God. Holy and blessed and glorious Trinity, one God, have mercy on us. By your ministry and word and work, by your mighty acts of power, by the preaching of your reign, hear us, O Christ. Give us boldness to preach the gospel in all the world and to make disciples of all nations. Give your people grace to witness to your word and bring forth the fruit of your spirit. We pray for all of those, especially uh, those reaching out to the people from Ukraine, all of the service folks in Poland and other countries surrounding them, for all of the extensions of love and of grace and of mercy to counteract the evil that is done in response to that evil. We bring love. May that fill our hearts as well May we continue to be a presence of love, of God's grace, especially to those who are suffering today. Guide the leaders of nations in the ways of peace and justice. Comfort and liberate the lonely, the bereaved, and the oppressed. Heal the sick of body, mind, and spirit, that they might know that you you were with them always, even in their pain. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. May God's love fill you this day. May you know in the quiet of your hearts that God is present. God loves you, and, and even though you may not feel it, <laughs> God is continually with you, by your side, in your heart, all around you. May his spirit and love continue to flourish in your life. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a blessed day.